Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm on my floor because I got out of school early and I'm just laying here editing videos. This video came out late because I did a video with my grandma and that one was really long and I was trying to get it edited and up before this video, but that's not gonna happen. So you're gonna see this video first and then you're gonna see the video with my grandma. I know that's confusing, but you'll see it. So I did a hair tutorial on this look right here. Um, I will insert some more pictures on the screen so you can see like more of what it looks like. I just really don't feel like moving right now. But um, it's kind of a mess now because I went out and just went to school and stuff and school is stressful and you already know the deal. It's a really cute, simple, like curly type bob. It's really easy to do. And I did a voiceover and it really sucks because I don't like voiceovers. But please bear with me because I do. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, just keep keep watching. So I part my hair any old kind of way. I try to make it symmetrical on both sides, but my hair is very uneven. So it really just depends on your hair and you know your hair. So wherever you feel like you should part it, just go ahead and part it. <laughs> so after detangling and spilling the product everywhere, um, I put it in my hair and I make sure that I have a good amount. I don't want it to be too oily, but I don't want it to be dry. So after I put that in, I braid my hair halfway down and I leave probably like an inch or like the size of your pinky unbraided. And I do that because it helps define your curl. And then I wrap the curler around it and that's basically all you do for your whole head. Also, it doesn't have to be even because remember, if your hair is anything like mine, it is going to curl and in the morning, you're going to pick it out. So it is going to be very full and you won't be able to see your parts. And I honestly think that kind of a messy part is a lot better because it blends in sort of and like a neat part or like a straight part, you can easily see where you did your hair, if you know what I mean. But that's just what I prefer. You also don't have to roll it all the way up. You can just roll the part that you left unbraided. I roll it all the way up because I feel like, you know, I don't want it to slip out. And I also forgot to mention where I got the products from. See how bad I am at this? I got the curlers from my cousin and I believe she got them from Sally Beauty. Um, I don't know how much they were. I'm pretty sure they were cheap because they're plastic with a little rubber band on them So they shouldn't be expensive You can also get them on Amazon and you can probably find better ones on Amazon And the hair product I'm using is um, Pink moisturizing lotion is very very heavy if you don't like products in your hair down I'm gonna tell you that you might not like this product but I do like it because it does a great job of keeping my hair moisturized through the whole day. And especially since I'm doing the rice water, it makes sure that my hair is very moisturized. So you can get it from Walmart, I believe Sally Beauty. I don't know about Target. I don't shop at Target, but pretty much any hair store. And you can also get it um, on Amazon. Oh, yeah. 
so after finally finishing that entire process throughout my head it doesn't take long um and i'm done being weird i put my i only on put my like four on each side it doesn't have to be a lot i think four either four or five but then i go to sleep because ain't nothing better to do and then i'll show you guys in the morning So when you're taking the hair, your hair down, you want to be very, very gentle because if you rake your fingers through it, it'll mess up your hair and it'll cause it to be frizzy. And we're trying to reduce frizz. And when you're separating your curls, you should pull them where they feel like they should be separated. You can see that your curls will be nice and bouncy and my hair was actually pretty oily from the product I could have used a little less but I mean it's not gonna kill me so then I went ahead and took down the rest of my hair making sure to be very delicate when taking them apart and yeah After I'm done, it is not looking cute, it's looking pretty boyish, so I go ahead and get my wide tooth comb and I just pick it out. And as I'm picking it out, I'm trying to separate my hair and, you know, comb in a downward direction, but not combing through it. Like, I don't know how to explain it, I probably should have just went slower, but I was pulling it out and picking it up to kind of make it thicker. I then flip my head over to try and pick it some more and bring some of that volume to the front. And then when I'm done picking, I just kind of shake my head around and go through it, making sure that it's still looking full, voluminous, and I look cute because I got to go to school. And here's my outfit of the day. Here me trying to look cute. Um, I'm being weird. I don't know why I was being so weird. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want. And I will see you guys in my next video.